Thanks for confirmation. Uh, just give me a minute. Okay, let's connect. As guys, yesterday we covered the loop static and dynamic method both that uh, we learned that how we're gonna uh, pass and print the data through the loop statically and we learned that how we will pass data dynamically through the console. Uh, and we are done with the for loop. So today we will be studying a while loop. What is while loop and how we will use it in our program? We'll see that. First of all, while loop is, let me share my screen, let me open. Let's close this. Let me open. And, Now let me take the brush. Now kids, okay. Uh, today agenda is while loop. While loop is it is another type of loop that mostly used actually I mostly use uh, as my experience in development or fetching data from DB databases uh, it gives us uh, the facility that uh, you can loop through the data, whatever data comes from DB. Later on, the development team, whenever they develop a product, each and every software which is belongs to ERP or information management system has a databases. So that databases, uh, whenever we want to display something from that databases, we need to bring that data from those databases. And for bringing those data, we need where well, we need to look through that data because there will be billions of records. So that's why for that we prefer, especially I prefer while loop so that it uh, give me the facility that I can iterate through all of them one by one. Now, how while loop will look like? It is a little bit slower than for loop. While is little bit. slower than for loop in case of execution. But it is good for fetching data from the DB or databases. Now, how would how the syntax look like? Syntax of while is that you need to write while, this is a keyword, open the bracket, Inside the bracket, you need to put the condition. Once you put the condition, next part is to open the bracket. You need to write down the source code. And below the source code, you need to iterate it right down inside the body of the while. This is the 
what this is my syntax for while loop that I will be using it. Now let's jump into the Eclipse IDE and practice one program and look like uh, how it feel, how it looks while loop program. Now let me close these sections. Let me close it. I will go to my project, Java Basic, expand SRC, expand Basic Java, and I'll click on that. I will right click on that, go to new and take a new file class. Once you took that, I will do it. I will name it as a while loop. Check mark the public static void main. I can finish. So just remove this section. First of all, we will go and display one basic program for with the what with the while loop. But the in for loop we had the declaration, initialization, condition, incrementation in one line inside the for loop. But in while loop, it is a little bit different. You need to declare an initialize variable outside the loop, the starting point, I mean. And you need to put the condition inside the parenthesis of the loop, and you need to increment it inside the body of the loop. Let's look into that. So I need to print, I'll comment this, the data from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 12, dot, dot, 10. How would I display this? So if I used to, if I use someone says that, hey, display one from one to 10 through while loop. So how would I do that? I will do this like this. Okay, first of all, and my starting point variable equal to what? One. I will initialize it equal to one. Now my job is to do it. I will go, I will pass a user-friendly message, system dot out dot print alone. Now through that, I will use while loop ground. Now after that, I will go with the while loop. The syntax, how it look like? It looks like this. While, you need to write the keyword of while, open the parenthesis, open the curly bracket. Now your duty is to pass the condition through that. Now you need to pass start point less than equal to what I need to go till 10. So my condition is I will take statically right here. Like I took in for loop, if you remember. So if my start point is less than equal to 10, so go ahead and do what system dot out dot print ln do it, print the data start point point for me. Now, where is the incrementation part? The incrementation part right below the printing of the data. Now we'll print start point plus plus. Put a semicolon. This is the basic structure of your while loop that how you're gonna print from one to 10 inside a while loop or through while loop. So I'll run this. If you see that, you can see that while loop program, which I display through system dot out of And this is starting from one to 10. It's printed out for from one to 10 for me. This was the basic program with the while loop. Hope you guys understand the structure, syntax, and everything. Any confusing point? Anything that you didn't get it?
guys am i audible or no because today i okay yes, yes we can hear you here. sir uh, and no question cool. is clear okay bring out your sound like this okay i feel that i'm not audible and i'm explaining it <laughs> cool great okay go ahead once type this program i will give you three minutes for that and we will go with the dynamic one also. You know, once you learn the concept of the for loop, while and do while is very easy for you. It's just a piece of cake for you. Excellent job. Okay, excellent. Now, once you write, write the program, all of you, I will do it. I will dry run it manually. So what is dry run? I will tell you that also. Uh, I have a question. Uh, okay. Uh, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, I've, I'm going to share my screen, but I don't know what did I did. But anyway, it's all coming like one, one, one. Let me share my screen here. Okay. Okay, wait a second. I didn't allow you, I guess. Yeah, now you can share it. I guess you didn't increment it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Start point. Okay, you didn't take this uh, inside the body of the while. That's why it's printing out 111 for you. Where's the opening body? Which, one, which line? Yeah, you just do one thing, cover, cut that line number 17 and put it in line number 14. Everything will be solved. Line number 17. Oh. 17, 17. No, 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 no. Leave that in the their place, 17. You're missing brackets only. Yeah, cut that. No, 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 cut that line, cut, cut. Yeah, go to line number 14. And open line number 14, yeah. And open the bracket here. Now you're good, run it. Still shows one, one, one. Okay, wait a second, we will check what is the issue. Start point equal to one. Start point is less than equal to 10, okay. Okay, it goes in finitely, I guess. Okay, just do one thing. Uh, can you stop it? Okay, it's already stopped. No worries. Mm -hmm. Let me check. No, no, not your screen. Share your screen. Okay. Mr. John, I think I saw the mistake in the spelling start. Mm -hmm. As, uh, seems like see. that. Mm -hmm. uh, no, actually, yeah, it's the spelling mistake in two places. Start point at the beginning, integer start point, and then while you run the syntax, it's correct at the syntax, but no. you notice, Mr. John? Which line you're talking about, Nasir? Oh, no, 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 my bad. Mm -hmm. Spelling is correct. Yeah, yeah, for it me, will take error. Still, yeah. It will take error. Wait a second. Let's check what is the issue. A while. Everything looks good. Okay, start. Start point plus plus. Less than equal to 10. I guess it's running another program. I said just do one thing. Give a one tap to line number 16. Go to line number 16. Give a tap. Yeah. Tap, tap, not enter. Line number 16. Yeah. Now 
try to run it again. Now it ah. looks good. Now it's good. Mm -hmm. So yeah. even 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 the top is the matter, right? <laughs> because those were out of the body. Yeah, that's why. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay, let me just share my screen again. You guys, just try to write down to my screen. Okay. Sorry, can I share my screen? Even so, yeah, excellent job. Yeah. Uh, okay, share your screen, Sonia. Can I share my screen? Yeah, share it, Sonia. Okay. So yeah, you did a mistake. Uh, you just do one thing. You go to line number twelve under the system dot out dot rental and copy cut that line number twelve. Yeah, copy that or, or cut it. Select that and Control X. Select that. Oh no, only that line number twelve. Bracket opening bracket. Only copy that opening. Yeah, cut it. Control X. <coughs> Come to the line number 14 and paste it here. Paste it. Now do one thing. Uh, make a, uh, the W of wireless capital. Just make it small. Mm -hmm. Now do one thing. Remove that line. Uh, that's uh, line number 17. Bracket, opening bracket. Remove that opening bracket. Now try to do one thing and then give a tap to system dot out dot rental in of start point and start point plus plus. Try to bring it inside the body of the loop because it's arranged parallelly with the body. Okay, give a tap. Yeah, select both of them. No, leave it. No, don't select it. So yeah, just uh, click at the beginning of line number 16. Just try to click at the beginning of line number 16. 16, Sonia. Okay. okay, give a tap, press the tap button from the keyboard. It is parallel, par yeah, good. Now do, do for the system dot out dot pentalon. Line number 15. Yeah, now run it. Now run it. It looks good. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Let me share my screen again. This we're writing, write it from my screen. I should enable then. Okay, someone asked question. We can use for loop true. Uh, so if you mean for loop for this program, yeah, we can also use for loop. Just we are now learning the syntax and way of while loop. But uh, whenever one, once we done with the loops, you can use any type of loop for printing the data. No worries at all. What is the last line for start point and plus plus? Fuzzle, it is the rule that in for loop, you need to do everything in the inside the parentheses. But in while loop, it is the loop. Uh, it is the rule that you need to increment it through the word inside the body of the while loop. Ashkan, excellent job. Okay, now let's explain this concept, guys. Let me open the snappy. I'll dry run it for you. Now let's make it bigger and let's explain this concept. First of all, inside my computer, 
I do what? I will divide it into two parts. I declared a variable which is called start point. And the value of the start point is Why it's not working? Start point is equal to one. It means that I'm storing a value of one inside the start point. Now the program do it. Just for the first time, it will come. It will come and display while loop program for you. Next. The compiler will come and check that. And here I put the condition that, hey, is it possible that start point that I give the value of start point is less than equal to 10 for the first time? Yeah, because the value of start point is one and one is always less than equal to 10. So it will do it. It will enter to the body of the while loop and display the data because I put the system dot out dot println. So it will display what? It will write one on the screen for me. Now, whenever it, it display, the control goes to the next line to start point plus plus. Now it, it will increment it. How it will increment it? So it is one I told you that plus plus means that add one to the already existent value. So it will make it as a what? As a two. Now the value is two. Now the compiler, the control goes on again to the body of the loop, to the parentheses. It will check. Now the value of start point, plus start point is what? Now the value of start point is two. So is two less than equal to 10? Of course, it is less than equal to 10. So it will re-enter the body of the loop and print the data, which is on, on inside the variable of start point. Or well, now inside the variable of start point, I have value of two. So it will print, it will print two for me. Again, control go to the next line and start point plus plus. Whenever I do the start point plus plus, now my value of start point is two. It will add one to it. Now it, the value become three. So the control again goes to this line and it will check that A, is my start point, which is, has the value of three less than equal to 10? Of course, it will re-enter to the body of the loop and will execute this line. It will print three for me. And again, control goes to this line and make it increment. So when now my value of start point is three, if I add one to it, it means the value will become four. Now, whenever the value become full, it will again goes to this line and check the condition that, hey, my four value, which is stored inside the start point variable, is it less than equal to 10? Of course, re-enter the body of the loop and display four for me. The current system will goes on like this till it reaches 10 value. Once it reaches 10 value, so it will print. It will come, control goes from here to here and it will check. Well, now inside my start point, I have value of 10. Is it possible that 10 is less than 10? No, it is not less than, but it is equal. So the condition again gets success. So it will enter to the body of the loop and display the value of 10. Now what will happen guys? Once it display the 10, the control goes to next line and make it start point plus plus. It means that now I have value of 10. I will add one to it and it will become 11. Now, once it become 11, the control goes again to this line and will check the condition. Now in start point, I have 11. Is it possible that 11 is less than equal to 10? Even it's not less and even it's not equal. Here is the point that condition get fail and Compiler get out of the body of the loop and it goes down. If there we have something, so it will display and do accordingly. If we don't have, so the compiler will stop the program and display our exact output that we want from the program. This was the short format that we could explain it, how the while loop works. Is it clear guys now?
how the flow comes. Yes, sir. Excellent. Uh, yes, sir. One more question. Just, just it's just like a shorting question. Okay. While start point, if we remove the uh, uh, the equal sign, so mm -hmm. it will run all the way to nine, and it will not display ten because it will be smaller than. 10. You mean here? Yes. Yeah, of course, it will go to nine. It will not take yeah. the ten range. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Okay, guys, now let's do, now I will give you an assessment. Instead, I will do it, but I will give you five minutes. First of all, you give a try. Well, if you don't do it, so you're, you're a champion. If you don't do it, so don't worry, you're again a champion. So I'll take a program for me, write a program that as of now, it should be dynamic. Take the value of start point through the console for me. Like suppose when, once I run the program, I will take the value as a eight. So at the starting point should eat and go till 20. Print it till 20 for me. Now you need to take this value dynamically start point. As of now, I put one here. Now your duty is to take this value dynamically. You got the question, what should you do? Sir, for dynamically, um, do we have to use scanner? Yeah, you need to use the scanner class. I mean to say that I need to, you make it this program dynamic. Now I took start point as a one and I put it injected statically. Now it's your duty to use the scanner class and take the value of start point through the console and print till 20 for me. The range will be from whatever data you get, it should print till 20 for me. Okay. you didn't get the question? Ah, okay. uh, no. Write a program that can check value. Value means start point through scanner class dynamic. And it should goes till twenty from me. Now, for example, for a G. how will you do that? The system should prompt you. Enter the enter the value first of all through system.out.println. Once you enter the starting point as a three, so and you press the enter, so it should start from three, four, five, six, seven, and goes till where? Goes till 20. I mean like this. Now you got the program how to do it, how to write the code for that. So did you understand? Yeah, so basically we are using the the loop or while loop. Yeah, you need to use a scanner class with the while loop. Okay. Just, I mean, Masood, if I tell you that, hey, I don't want to start from one. I want to start from Yeah, start eight. from three. Yeah, what should I do? From, from eight, yeah. You put eight and a set of one. Excellent job. But if I want you that do it through the console, so how would you do that? You will use scanner class for that. Am I right? Yes, but I think when I, I was not able to participate in the class yesterday, I think you guys are used that uh, through the console yeah, yesterday, right? We use it through the console, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's okay, no worries, Masood. Just give a try. I, I, I can check a lot. Yeah. Yeah, if you can do it, so I will write the program for all of you, okay? No worries at all.
I will put the code in front of you guys. This is the while loop code. Just give a try. But, but we can create an but but we can create another class. And yeah, the, you need the... to take another file, new file for that. Take a new file and do it. I'll pause the recording. And just go ahead, take a new file, Java basic class. I will name it as a dino while loop. I'll make it public static void. Click on the finish. So let's bring it down. So guys, I asked you a basic program that in previous program, we use static concept. We give each and every value through the coding script itself. But right now, I want to make it a little bit dynamic. So how would I do that? So for that, first of all, I need to take a variable and start point. Just do not give any value, just declare it. Don't initialize it. Next job is for reading dynamically data, guys, you need to use the scanner class. How would you use that? So S is capital, double in ER. Now give the name as a rate equal to new. Now again, scanner. Now inside the parentheses, you need to write down what? You need to write down system dot n. Now your duty is to do it. You hover on that. If when, once you hover on that, whether if, if it looks like this, if it gives you the import class, so no worries. If it don't give, you can write it down manually. Import Java dot util dot scanner. If I pass this, you can see that error are gone. This is another way that I already teach you. Now my next job is let's print it out something on the screen. System dot out dot print ln because I want to take the value from the user and I need to prompt the user. So for prompting the user, enter any value for starting point of the loop. Now, once you're done with that, so you need to give a try with what? You need to rate the value through the console and store it and then start point. So how would I do that? Start point equal to. So how, how will I make it dynamic? Rate dot next and add a semicolon. Boom, you're done to go. You're good to go till this point. Now you read dynamically the data and store it inside the variable of start point, which is right here. Now your next job is to run the while loop. Okay, while. Now in while, you need to do it. Same concept, start point less than equal to what? I will make it less than equal to 20. And here I will do what? System dot out dot print and I will make it, I'll pass the star point variable. My next step is to do the incrementation, star point plus plus. Concept is same with the previous program, but only what we have a new section that instead of adding one directly to it, now we are reading the start point dynamically. Now we can start from any number and we can print it till 20. If I save this and run it, you guys can see that. Let's see it. Now see, enter any value. So I will start with two. You can see it prints till 20. Now I can start from 20 itself. It will only print 20 for me. If I run it again, I can start from 
14. You can see that it starts from 14 and print it out till 20 for me. This was the basic logic and concept of the scanner class with the while loop. Hope it's clear, guys. Now, for those of who who are still remaining and writing the code, they can use my screen and see and write it down the code. I will give you three minutes for that. Just write down the code and we will move ahead with the next program with the while loop. Excellent job, Sakya. So I'll pause the recording for a minute. Guys, whenever you're looping or printing something, each and every time you need to take the code or printing area inside the body of your loop. Where's the body of your loop? This bracket is the starting point of your while loop, and this is your ending point of the while loop. Whatever you want to do, you need to do between these two bracket. Like I told you that syntax of while loop is while this is your condition section. Now this is opening curly bracket right off the bat you need to open the curly bracket write down your code this will be your incremental pace plus plus and here you need to close the body of the loop this is the basic syntax of the while loop now sunya you understand yes sir i got it thank you yeah, now I will give you one another assessment right in the class. And this is very easy. You need to do it by yourself, guys. As of now, we read the starting point value dynamically that we, we did it through the scanner class. Now I want from you that instead of putting this 20 right here, I need to take that value from the console as well. And instead of 20, I have to the endpoint variable and you need to take that endpoint value through the scanner class how would you do that that depends on you i will leave it for you i will give you five minutes for that just start writing the code once you're done just confirm it and after that if someone is still remaining so i will do that again i will write the program again for you no worries at all okay just give a try and dirty your hand on the keyboard i want that only for that, for full dino, I will take a new class. Let's create a new class. Let's name it full dino. Full dino for while. Click on the finish. Now, guys, I asked you to make it fully dynamic. That starting point and break point or end point of or conditional break point must be read from the console so how would you do that for that let's create first of all i will create one variable start point just put a semicolon declare it next end end point i'll put a semicolon for that as well now till this point you're good to go now your next step is to what do what scanner class scanner read equal to new scanner system dot in till this point you're good to go now your next duty is to do what guys your next duty is to print some user-friendly message on the screen system dot out dot print a len pass a message that enter the starting point for 
reading the starting point. What should you do for that? Bring the start point variable, write down the start point variable, add an equal sign after that. Object of the scanner read dot next end. Everything looks good. Now error gone. Add a semicolon. Now your next job is to print system dot out dot print ln. Now here is the point that you need to read the value of endpoint. Enter the ending point. Now for reading that, pass the variable of endpoint equal to. Endpoint equal to what? Read dot next line. Same like that. Read dot next line. You now till this position, till this point, you read everything and everything seems good. Now my next task is to do what? To while, to real, to loop my while loop on top of that while start point variable less than equal to end point variable this is my condition system dot out dot print a length display the start point for me now in here just increment the start point start point plus plus same next concept is same like the first program that we practice just we change this value read this value dynamic and previous program we read this value in dynamic everything now we have a fully dynamic while loop if i run this i would say okay now it asks me that enter the starting point i will add three enter the ending point i will add nine the result will be three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. It displays like this, guys. This was fully dynamic program with the help of while loop in scanner class that we did practice. And with that, we were winding up here. The session is over for today and we are done with the while loop. Hope you guys understand the logic and concept of while loop. Just uh, try to rewatch the video after the class finish. I will upload it for you. Just try to rewatch re the program. And I will pause the recording.